Okay, we're gonna have to go f fast to make this uh, five minute video here. But uh, this is our first sound playing where we're gonna show the simplest way you can play sounds in Max. <clears throat> um, and we're gonna use SF Play. So if I zoom in a little bit, you can see that SF Play has a little tilde after it. That's the tilde, it's in the, it's in the uh, upper left-hand corner of the American Mac keyboard. But SF Play tilde is the name of the object. And I just want to say that it's a lot more complex than what I'm gonna to show today. So if you get help on SF Play, it does a whole lot of stuff. There are these tabs. You can, so much. <laughs> you can do a lot with SF Play. It's a powerful object, but it's a sound file player. And it plays files straight from disk. So it doesn't load any files into RAM. It just opens up an audio file straight from your hard drive and starts playing it. So if, even if it's like a very large file, like a 100, 200, 300 megabyte sound file that's an hour long, it will just instantly start playing it. It doesn't have to load it into memory. So um, in my folder here, I should say that this is the patch we're looking at right now, intro to sound and video. This is the actual patch, and then this is a sub patch. This is the uh, simple sound playback patch here, sub patch. Um, now, because this is the patch we're using in my folder, which you know, because I'm teaching this to a classroom, I'm calling it week two, um, I've got my sound files. They are um, AIFF files, which are standard uncompressed sound files for the Mac. Uh, SF Play will play AIF files, uh, WAV files, which are like the Windows version of uncompressed sound. It'll also play MP3 files. I think it'll play some other formats, but I don't, I don't know. It might I play MP4s. Might play MP4s. Play MP4s. Mm -hmm. um, so I have these four sound files. Uh, they're called Kia, Burr, A, and Kick. Okay, so we're gonna play one of those. I'm gonna stop you though. Yeah. What you didn't finish saying is that it's imperative that they are in the folder with the patch. Ah, thank you, yeah. So um, my patch is here in this directory, this Mac folder, and then the sound files are in the same folder. And as long as you do that, your patch will have no problem finding the files. So uh, if you hide them away somewhere, either in a subfolder or in some other folder, you have to do a little bit of uh, work to make your patch know where the files are. But since these files are in the exact same directory, they're right next to the patch itself, you can just reference them by name. Also, so you bad. will notice that so uh, yeah, you will notice that there are no spaces in my sound files. So uh, spaces can cause a little bit of a problem because um, you know a space in a message box is treated as two messages. It means so, things. Yeah, <laughs> so try not to put spaces in your file names. Um, <clears throat> All right, so how do we play a file? So I say open kia.eiff, and here's the uh, actual file right there. Um, so I say open it, and nothing happens. Why, David? Why is nothing happening? Right. So uh, because you have to tell Max how to do everything, which I love. But at the beginning, when you're first learning Max, usually people hate it. So um, I open the file. That just tells SF Play to open or to load that file. So it's loaded that file, kia.aiff. Now, if I tell SF Play 1, which usually means on, um, and we could also put a toggle in here and do the same thing. But um, if I press the 1 button, it's going to tell SF Play to start playing the back. Well, I have to have my speakers turned on. So SF Play is connected to my speakers. This object here is called um, Easy DAC. Oh, now the video is going to have those sounds in it. Uh, anyway, so my speakers turned on. I can turn my speaker off. And I can turn it back on. You notice both of the speakers turn on and off because what you're really doing is you're turning on the master sound system in Max. You're turning on uh, sound processing. So, um, or you can turn it on here too. You know. Okay. So I've turned on my sound system. I've opened the file, and now I'm going to hit this one. Yeah. Okay. That was a little louder than I expected, but there we go. Um, I could connect this this toggle box to the same thing, and uh, come on. And that should do it also. Let's see. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Because again, toggle sending out a one or a zero. Right. Toggle just sends out an actual one. Um, all right. Now we could have, uh, we could combine these two messages into a single message using a common, uh, a comma. So here I have, uh, you know, open kick dot aff and then a comma and a space and a one. So the comma space one. Actually, it's doing two different messages in a single message box separated by this comma. So it's opening the file and then immediately starting it to play. So, 
Kya, kya, hey. These are funny sounds we did in a class uh, a little while ago. Um, so that's it. We have these four buttons, and they load a file and start it playing back, and they're connected to the speakers, and and uh, that's it. And we're playing some sounds. What am I missing here? We're, that's, we're playing no, I sounds. Mean, keeping it simple. These are really short files, um, and they're uncompressed uh, AIF files. So uh, they could very well be MP3, and they have to be plugged into the speakers. So. I'm also plugging these, uh, sending the sound from SF Play into this object here, which is a meter, like a visual meter that just shows you, you know, that there's sound there. So you can see the meter goes up when I, when I uh, press when the sound plays. So, okay, well we will get much more deep into SF Play. This is just like the ultimate, most simple intro we could come up with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.